we're here now on the evening of footfall. We've been working up to this sort of all summer. Uh, we proposed the story that we've got to tell about the fact that this, uh, this valley has been on three occasions um, almost um, flooded to create a reservoir. And we thought it was fitting that we marked the fact that people came together um, to save this landscape um, and this is just our way of sort of like saying thank you. We worked with people from um, the arts community, people from local and social history. Some of our volunteers have been very very sort of like prevalent in creating um, the resources which we've got in an exhibition. Above Harcastle Crags up on the moors um, are uh, four major reservoirs and there's been in the past uh, a determination by various water boards at the time to uh, create another reservoir at the top end of Hardcastle Crags. Despite all the opposition, it was all tied up for being flooded but eventually it got referred to the House of Lords and the House of Lords kicked it out. So nowadays we can all still enjoy the beauties of the upper part of this valley. We've been uh, asked to lead small groups in the walk, so we're holding the banners, so um, myself and fellow rangers and ranger volunteers and survey group volunteers are holding the banners and are looking after our little groups and we're just having a nice walk down the river um, and then we've got a bit of a ceremony as well to celebrate what we could have lost actually and celebrate that it's all been saved um, and it's here forever for everyone. So we are half Swiss and we sing Swiss German yodel songs in our toe yurts. We're hoping that we'll get people to do a bit of a joyous yelping to enjoy the echoes that the woods offer, which they certainly did a few weeks ago, didn't they? Yeah, it was fabulous. We were listening to the echoes down the valley and it was uh, really gorgeous. And I came to Hebden Bridge because of this area. I was living in Switzerland, I've been there for three months and uh, didn't know where I was going to move to when I came back to England and I thought, what place in England is there that's kind of in the north that can equal the beauty of, of the Alps? And I thought about it and it was, it was here, <laughs> so I moved to Heaven Bridge. This place is about uh, people walking, so it felt so fitting to have a processional walk. So that's what we're going to be doing in a minute. We're going to go walk um, up the valley um, towards Little Switzerland um, at Hebden Dale. Um, and we're going to have a ceremony which is as near as we can safely make it to where the, uh, the proposed reservoir wall would have been. Um, and we're going to have a big communal event which will uh, mark our time in the landscape and the, the fact that the landscape and this the crags which is so iconic um, and so important to a lot of people um, that it's here not just for the next 50 years but um, forever. Lift up your eyes and look at these high sloping valley sides like decorated pages of a half opened book that shows the changing sky beyond and the river as its spine. Stand now and listen to the whisper of the trees as they tell of the time when this place of peace, of patience, of slow ways and solitude was threatened with a drowning so complete that the land upon which we now stand would sit beneath still water to a depth of 100 feet.
Especially when we walked into the sound installation, and I could hear these strange, beautiful a bell, and then a horn, and then something that sounded like a really loud woodpecker, and and then we saw these this fire in the distance over the over the river in the green, and then we saw two tiny little dolls, which were actually Helen and Louise dressed in Swiss costume, and they yodeled, but it was just magical. Um, I almost felt frightened. It was so kind of eerie in the middle of the wood. I loved it. Yeah. It was a lovely experience. Really well organised and it really focused the mind. It just makes you think about the environment and appreciate what we've got in the locality. Um, focuses the mind on it. Really. It was really nice to be moving through nature on, a, on such a lovely night. And, um, and sort of the cultural aspect in nature was, um, was very moving. I found it very moving and I found the, the experience of standing there and imagining this valley on the water actually very chilling as well. And it, it, you, have to, you have to kind of be in it to imagine it. Tonight was really special because it reminded us of the, of the history of the place. We, uh, there's such an important history in, um, uh, in the Calder Valley and about how this place was saved from the dam. If people had dammed this, it would only have been for about 100, 150 years and the whole place would have been lost and now the mills are gone. It's a place to enjoy again and to come out to the countryside again. So it's been a wonderful evening, I've really, really enjoyed it.